So you ask yourself, what's the government to do against this new mega trend of slow growth throughout the world? And whether or not the region's growth prospects are a function of slower growth in Europe, slower growth in China, or the end of the commodity super cycle is irrelevant in some ways. It's a question of how you look and where do you find new avenues of growth. Well, one key answer is to look at a market that's actually quite obvious, but most of the time rather overlooked. And that's looking at women as fully included economic actors, both as consumers and as producers. Now, as consumers, this is a discussion that to me is a complete no-brainer. Women represent a market of $18 trillion of buying power around the world. And to put that in perspective, that's three times the size of China's economy. Companies spend thousands of hours and millions of dollars thinking about what is their China strategy. But do they invest a fraction of that to think about what is their strategy when they look at the women's market? Rarely. Not only that, but women represent or actually direct 60 to 70 percent of all the purchases around the globe. So this isn't a small niche market. This is half of the population of the planet. And to properly include women, it means thinking about what is your product, and not only that, but how do you sell that product? 